Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, including LinkedIn in 30 Minutes. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to find people on LinkedIn. And this is a pretty cool feature that LinkedIn has. And I'm not just talking about entering someone's name in the search field up here and then finding a certain person who you know is out there. I'm talking about if you have a lot of people in your network already, how do you find certain people? Or how do you find certain people at certain companies or doing certain things? And actually, the search features are really, really good for this. So here's what you need to do. Go to LinkedIn.com, click on My Network, and then click on Connections. And you can see I have quite a few connections here. And the problem is, like, if I'm searching for somebody in particular, I have to scroll through nearly 700 people to, to find somebody. And, you know, let's say that there's a situation where uh, maybe you met someone at a conference last year. You don't quite remember their whole name but you remember the company they worked for and you need to find them. So the first thing you can do is just search by name. So let's say that I'm looking for someone named Mary. I think she's one of my connections. And you see, you start typing and right away, people show up. These are people that I've connected with already. Now, it gets really interesting when you start to search with filters on LinkedIn, your connections. And I'll show you what I mean. Click on search with filters. Okay. So, the first thing you can do, so I'm going to clear the, I'm going to clear this. It says um, number one. That means the search for Mary. I'm going to clear that right now. And here's the filters that I can. Here's the filters that I can use. So the first thing you can do is you can select first or second degree connections. First degree connections are the people you've already connected with. So the 670 people I've connected with, I'm going to use that. Locations. I just want to find people in San Francisco Bay Area, who I'm connected with. Let's apply. So these are the people in the Bay Area who I've connected with, and there's quite a few. I can make it, I can narrow things down even further by clicking on current companies and then selecting something. So they've already pre-picked a few companies here. So, you know, let's see, let's see who I know who works at Google in the Bay Area and apply that. So right away, the folks who I know, um, who work at Google, they're showing up right here. The other thing I can do is I can clear Google and I can search for a certain company. So let's say IDG, International Data Group. Let's see who works in the San Francisco area, first degree connection, who works for IDG. No results found. Okay. But what I can do actually is change the first degree connections, add second degree connections. This is friends of friends. So I haven't connected directly with them, but they're my friends connections on LinkedIn. Click apply. Okay, all of a sudden, all these folks who show up, I don't know them exactly, but they're friends of friends. And actually when I if I do want to connect with them, I can say, "Oh, hey, you know, um you know so and so and I know so and so and uh you know, I'm trying to get together with somebody who's experienced with this particular topic." So this is a way you can kind of break the ice. This is how you can find certain people, uh, not only in your, in your connections, but also your friends of friends, which can be really useful uh, for either connecting with new people or tracking down somebody who you need to get a hold of. And maybe you don't remember all the information, such as their name or uh, maybe even where they live, but you do remember the company that they worked for. For more information on how to get the most out of LinkedIn, check out our book, LinkedIn in 30 Minutes by author Angela Rose, available on in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.